This week's stamping theme is Shark Week. Shark Week will be coming up soon. Joining us this week is May Nail Designs, LJ Natural Nails, Never Naked Nails Nail Art, Girly Nails 66, and this is mine. I love wearing shark nail art in the summer. Let's get started. The polish I'll be using by Hollow Taco is Board Meeting. The base and top coat I use are by Maxis. These are my all-time favorites from Maniology to use every time I stamp. So we have the Ice Cube Stamper, which is super sticky. I really love this one. We have the Sticky Base Coat and the Smudge Free Top Coat. The stamping polishes I'll be using is this white one by She Modern. It's a sticky stamping polish. By Moira, I'm using black. And by Hit the Bottle, I am using Looking for Mr. Gray. Today I'm using a couple of plates from the Jaws collection. I'm using this one, and I'm using this one. I did use this plate as well. I decided to do a thumb accent nail and I'm going to use Beach Closed. These are awesome plates. Um, well, this is an awesome part about the plate is that their um, protective cover is um, mattified so you can tell that you didn't remove the cover before you start stamping and give yourself a heart attack. I want to use these little um, splashes. And I want to use that fin right there. With the layered shark, I want to try making a decal. So I'm going to put down my Maxis base coat right here. Let that dry. All right, let's see how the decal making works out. I just thought this might be easier to do um, rather than doing the layered one on your nails first in case you make a mistake. <laughs> And then you got to do everything all over again. I'm just testing this out. I'll have to clean off the edges real quick. Actually, I probably don't have to because it's not going on my nail. Um, didn't really think about that. And then just put it here. Hope it sticks. And it did not. Okay. We're going to try this again, just because maybe it dried on the stamper too long. So let's just try this again. This time I'm just going to pick it up and stick it down. And that works. Okay, so that's perfect. Sometimes it's about being quick. Now with this second one, I am going to have to clean off around it or it will mess up. Okay, there's a pit in the middle of that stamper head. I'm just gonna try to work around it. I have to clean the stamper off really quickly. And stick it where I want it. OK. 
Okay, well, that almost worked. <laughs> All right, we just have to be quicker, quicker, quicker. So that's sometimes the case with stamping. You have to be super quick. Except for, I just remembered, I have sticky stamping polish, which actually stays tacky a little bit longer than normal stamping polish. So definitely if you're gonna do, do layered plates, this might be a good route is just to get some of these sticky stamping polishes by um, She Modern. Now I have time to actually get things off of the stamper. A little bit of time. And hopefully it's going to stick right in there. Yeah! Look at that! <laughs> okay, I'm so weird. Let's take a close-up of my decal here, which I am completely loving that turned out. And I'm kind of glad to show you guys something fun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of lift this up a little bit. I don't want to mess up. There we go. Ooh. Okay, well, it's not really stiff. So I have to be careful here. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to cut around the decal. Now, this is very thin because I used the, um, because I used base coat. However, you could do this and use the top coat instead and it would be a little thicker, a little easier to pick up. Oops. But I think I'm doing okay here. Sorry if I was off camera that little bit. There. Oops. Now I fell down. Hmm. Let me see. I gotta pick him up. <laughs> he fell. Hold on. Try to get him up without messing it up. Okay, got it. All right, I got it. Now let's see, I want this part to be sticking up on my hand. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the stamper head upside down like this. And that will be perfect for my finger. Oh, I love how it turned out. Okay, that's cool. Now this one is just gonna be your simple coloring it in. Just gonna remove this stuff along the edges. What is that? There we go. I got it. And since I want it to be the same color as the rest of the body, I'm gonna use the stamping polish. And I'm using a pointy dotting tool to get in, well, it's not really pointy, but a small dotting tool to get in that small part right there. Then I can turn it around and use the bigger side to color in the rest. Oops, stamping polish dries pretty quickly. So you have to be quick while you're coloring it in. 
and that looks really good. All right, stampers done. Now I'm adding base coat to all of my nails. I'm going to use board meeting as my base color on all of my nails. Now that the polish is dry, I'm just going to put um, Maniology's sticky base coat over the tops of the nails that I want to put the stamping on. And wait a couple minutes and I'll be back. Sharks in over here. Shark jumping up from the water there. Oh, there's no room for the water drops. Okay. <laughs> then I think I'll just do the water splash over here. Uh, which won't stick down because I didn't put any sticky base coat on. So that is exactly what happens when you don't put sticky base coat on. Beach closed it goes here. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to do the smudge free top coat on this on this finger to protect that stamped image but the other ones have like little imperfections in the nail so I'm just going to hope that my Maxis top coat I'm sure it'll correct those but I'm hoping it's not going to smear the stamping so let's check this out Okay, so far so good. And that one looks good too. Here is the finished manicure. I wanted to do blue for these little water drops, but I didn't have navy and all my blues were just way too light. So sometimes it's not bad just to use black. With that being said, my thumbnail, I didn't like how the red looked, so I just kind of stamped over it in uh, black, and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get right over it. So I wish I had just used black only to begin with, because sometimes some colors just don't look good on other colors. And this red, I didn't think in my opinion, looked good over this blue. I didn't like how it looked. It wasn't what I wanted. But anyways, so here is the finished Manny. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and bye for now.